And then something I'm calling integrated value, because you probably all heard of shared value, Michael Porter's concept. But shared value, to be honest, is a very limited concept. It's just saying where you've got a social and an economic win-win, do that. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've been doing for a long time. Um, but most of sustainability is about trade-offs and conflicts and dilemmas. And what we really need, if it's going to succeed, is to integrate it. And what do we mean? Well, this is kind of a methodology chapter that you'll find in the book as to how to actually happen, make it happen in a corporation. And there are, there are various steps of integration that you have to go through. There's a step of stakeholder integration. There's a step of integrating your leadership platform and your, your dashboards. Uh, there's a step of integrating your risk assessment. Just think about it. How do you compare an environmental risk to a health and safety risk to an IT risk and come out with a number at the end that is somehow comparable because you need to make decisions as, as a leadership? So you've got to really think through how you integrate that. And then how you integrate the innovation or the breakthroughs. Um, how you turn this not only into a risk, but into an opportunity. And then how you integrate the process level, literally going down into business process reengineering type things. And finally, how you align or integrate the management systems so that you don't have a separate system for quality and a separate system for environment and a separate system for health and safety and so on. Future fitness, I think, is the, is the last key for unlocking um, to a sustainable frontier. And for me, there are five things that we can all agree on. I don't think it's that difficult to agree on a vision for the future. Sometimes it helps if you take away the jargon. We all want a future, a community, a company that is safe, that is shared, in other words, inclusive and equal, that is sustainable, um, that is smart, in other words, connected and all about learning, and that is satisfying that gives us satisfaction in our life and our work and makes the well-being all worthwhile. So I think we can agree on that. But when, how do you translate that into a strategy for a company? And I use just an example to illustrate it. So what makes this company, Patagonia, a kind of future fit company? What did they do differently? Well, they make outdoor clothing and equipment. And one of the things they realized after commissioning a study of their impact was that their biggest problem was Cotton. Cotton is really dirty. It may look white and fluffy, but it's very intensive on chemicals, on water, uh, uh, on energy. And so what did he do? He didn't say, OK, we're going to change this a little bit. We're going to reduce our water consumption a bit, reduce the chemical fertilizers a little bit. He committed the company to 100% organic cotton. <laughs>